pag-usapan natin ngayon ang inventory estimation. Kailan ba ito nagiging applicable at bakit nangyayari na nag-estimate tayo ng inventory? E di pa meron na nga tayong mga procedures para ma-identify yung inventory natin at the end of the period. O, meron tayong dalawang klase ng inventory system. You have the periodic and you have the perpetual. Pagdating sa perpetual, updated naman palagi yung, yung inventory ledger kasi nga kada may sales nagde-debit tayo ng cost of goods sold, nagki-credit tayo ng inventory. So alam natin na yung inventory mo at the end of the period is based on your records. Pag periodic naman, nagkakandak tayo ng physical count. So bakit natin kailangan mag-estimate ng inventory? Oh guys, in some cases it is necessary to estimate your inventory balances by virtue of the following reasons. And I want you to follow me on this uh, discussion. At times daw, it may be necessary to estimate inventory when the first one, interim financial statements have to be prepared and physical count is deemed not necessary. O kailangan mo daw mag-prepare ng financial statement for an interim period at hindi necessary na magkanda ka ng physical count. O may mga company policies kasi yan, depende sa control ano nila, no? appetite, kung masyado silang mahigpit yung pagkakandak nila ng physical count eh mas madalas kung medyo relax sila sa control mas madalang yan kung hindi man yan isa baka nga minsan wala pa pero wag naman sana ang interim di ba pag pinag-uusapan natin yung interim ang ibig nitong sabihin ay a period that is not one year ang coverage so kung assuming na calendar year tayo ending December 31 kung pinagawa tayo ng financial statement ending October o beginning January o sampung buwan pa lang yan o interim financial statements ang tawag natin dito kapag pinagawa ka ng financial statement at this is more of sa management and then for some needed information na no okay lang na hindi ka mag-conduct ng physical count provided na meron kang reasonable basis kung paano mo makukompute yung iyong ending inventory o lalo na sabihin natin na based on periodic ka no? so nakarelay ka talaga sa physical count in such cases kailangan mong mag inventory estimation another thing physical count was made and it is necessary to verify its reasonableness o nakapagkanda ka naman pala ng physical count pero duda pa pala yung management <laughs> kung yun ba talaga minsan kasi meron tayong tinatawag ng mga analysis at dito, kinocompare natin yung inventory kung reasonable siya. Ibig sabihin, walang mga abnormal uh, movement. Hindi abnormal yung pagtaas or hindi abnormal yung pagbagsak niya. So, kung meron kang basis kung paano mo siya compute o nagkakaroon tayo ng inventory estimation. O, the third one, this is more ano, um, appropriate. Nagkaroon ng sunog, nagkaroon ng nakawan o may mga dilemma, may mga calamity or catastrophe na nangyari kung saan kailangan mong ma-determine magkano yung nawala sa inventory. Kapag nagkasunog kasi, o sabihin na natin na may na-salvage na iilan lang, pero yung records mo, hindi na yan ang cop doon sa kung magkano yung actual. So, kailangan natin i-identify magkano yung loss. Doon nagkakaroon ng inventory estimation. Now, ang isang way para ma-compute natin, yung ending inventory, yung estimated ending inventory is sa pamamagitan ng gross profit method. At yung gross profit method na ito, it takes into consideration two formulas. Paano natin kinocompute yung cost of goods sold or your ending inventory? At yung pangalawa, paano yung kinocompute natin yung gross profit? O makikita ninyo sa screen, we have the movement of inventory. O dapat by now, alam nyo yan na Inventory beginning plus net purchases, ang total ng dalawang yan ay your cost of goods available for sale or goods available for sale, GAFS. Pag binawas natin dyan yung cost of goods sold, ang kalalabasan niyan ay ending inventory. So in such a way na yung beginning inventory plus net purchases mo represents your goods available for sale, ganun din. Ang cost of goods sold mo plus your ending inventory will represent your goods available for sale. And, the value of inventory is estimated by subtracting from the cost of goods available for sale, the estimated cost of goods sold. Ano daw? 
value of inventory is estimated by subtracting from the cost of goods available for sale the estimated cost of goods sold. <laughs> ah, sige, huwag kang magalala. Bibigyan natin yan ng illustration mamaya. Ah, proceed tayo. Ito yung ating example. Ah, the following data daw pertains to company B for the first period of the year or first quarter of the year. Ang available information mo ay si beginning inventory na 50,000 tapos si net purchases mo na 400,000 at si net sales na 560,000. Oh, pwede mo na siyang maiplot doon sa yung formula, di ba? Another information, estimate daw the ending inventory assuming company B maintains a 40% gross profit. O ito yung pinapa-require pero yung additional information dito ay yung 40% gross profit. O ito yung tinatawag natin na gross profit rate. Yung 40%. Yun nga lang, merong dalawang senaryo na pag-uusapan natin. Yung isa, yung gross profit rate based on sales sa letter A. And yung pangalawa, the gross profit rate based on cost. O, so, paano natin yan gagawin? Una, i-plot mo yung mga figures doon sa ating formula. Kasi alam mo naman na yun, di ba? O, makita natin dito, 50,000 plus your 400,000 o ang goods available for sale mo is 450,000 pesos. Ang question mark na lang ngayon, magkano yung cost of goods sold, magkano yung ending inventory? E nag-estimate tayo dito, hindi natin na-identify magkano yung ending inventory, hindi natin alam kung ano yung cost of goods sold. Question mark, walang given, di ba? O in this case, kailangan natin kunin yung 40% na gross profit rate yung additional information natin alam natin na yung net sales mo 560,000 and then your gross profit is 40% o in this case paano natin yan ma-fill upan may mako-compute ka ba dyan or wala o the answer will be dapat meron kang mako-compute dyan o paano natin ito i-co-compute 40% based on sales. Pag 40% based on sales, ang sales mo, 100%. Kung saan ka naka-based, yun yung 100%. O in this case, your sales is 100%. Kaya dito, meron akong dalawang columns. Si yung columns for the amounts and the columns for the percentage. Kasi pag plinat ko na siya, alam natin na 40% yung gross profit. Pero yung net sales ko, 100%. O working back, yung cost of goods sold is 60%. O ngayon, meron tayong figures, di ba? 560 is 100%. Ano yung 60%? Ano yung 40%? O we simply multiply. 560,000 times 60%, you will get your 336,000 pesos. O ngayon, meron ka ng cost of goods sold. I-project na natin siya dito sa yung movement of inventory. At makukuha na natin magkano yung ending inventory balance. Oh, 450 less 336,000, the answer is 114,000 pesos. So, ganyan tayo nag estimate ng ating inventory. Oh, proceed tayo sa case letter B, based on cost. Oh, dito sa based on cost, oh, alam na ninyo saan yung 100%. Kasi di ba sabi ko, kung kanin naka-base, yun yung 100%. So, kung kanina naka-net sales, nandito yung 100%, dito naman natin ilalagay sa cost of goods sold yung 100%. In such a way that your net sales will be 140%. Oh, doing the math, 560 is 140%. Divide natin yan, i-divide natin yung 560,000 sa 140%. Para makuha natin yung 100%. At yung 100% natin is 400,000 pesos. O kaya, ibawas natin siya. 560 less 400, the answer is 160,000. Pag kinumpute mo, yung gross profit rate niyan, 40% pa rin siya. Ng cost of goods sold. Hindi nga lang 40% ng net sales. Okay? So that's the distinct, gusing mark, ano? that's the distinction. 
O, 400%, uh, 400,000, i-pick up natin siya, ilagay natin dito sa kaliwa, your ending inventory is 50,000 pesos. Can you follow? Okay. So, ganyan yung difference nila. O, now, applying yung fire na scenario. Kunwari nagkasunog, assuming case B, yung based on cost. Assuming the store was caught on fire and the inventories were affected. After the fire, a physical inventory count was conducted to determine if there are inventories that can be salvaged. O kung may nagkandak sila ng inventory count para ma-check kung may maliligtas pa na mga inventories. At sa kanilang pagkakandak ng inventory count, nakita nila na may mga inventories na okay pa at ang halaga nun ay 28,000. Now the question is, how much inventory was consumed in the fire? Magkano yung inventory na nasama sa sunog? O dito, i-apply lang natin yung difference. 50,000 50, ang dapat na inventory na meron ako based on my gross profit rate of 40% based on cost. Pero ang actual inventory ko ay 28,000. Siyempre, 28,000 ang gagamitin natin. Yung difference na 22,000, o oh, difference nitong 50,000 and 28,000, that is your loss on fire. Yung inventory na nawala, na nasunog. And we treat is and we treat it as an expense which is which can be found on your income statement. Okay? So malinaw po ano? O oh, yung journal entry natin diyan ay debit loss on fire and credit to your inventory account. Kasi nabawasan nito ang ating inventory balance. So, that is inventory estimation and I hope you learned something from it. This is the last topic of our merchandise inventory and costing methods. So, I hope to see you around on our next topic and bye-bye.